hey hi all so today in this video we'll be covering about uh, pytest markers so uh, we'll be covering like uh, in, like let's say we want to ex uh, want to skip one test and for that we have a marker available like pytest dot mark dot skip so using that we can skip any test so for example uh, for any reason this logout scenario we do not want to execute so for that what we can do uh, we can just uh, use uh, this one at the rate pytest dot mark dot skip okay so if i use it and it's saying reformat the file let's do that so if i use it and now i have uh, total three tests right this is one test uh, this is another second test and this is uh, the third test right so now let's execute it so i'm using pytest minus s so minus s for the output and then i'm using the minus v so minus v stands for verbose so we want to see some more output okay that is why i'm giving it is not related to print statement but related to some more uh, console results okay which we want to display and now if i hit it so probably the first one this my test script this should be executed in headless mode and this should be executed in headed mode because that is what we have set and let's run, run, run it so it's collected three items and and the browser got open and it's logging in its standard user the first one got executed very quickly because it was headless mode and if you see like the second one it's saying like skipped an unconditional skip so we have not mentioned the reason like why we want to skip right so probably it would be good idea like if you give some reason uh, why we want to exclude it or why one why why we want to skip it right so we can mention like reason equals to uh, uh, not what we can give i mean not implemented yet okay maybe this is this is also a correct reason right so not implemented so means it's implemented but there is some issue uh, we do not want to execute right now so we were skipping it okay so we can see this reason is properly showing like not implemented also if you see it like we can give some uh, uh, skip if so this is like conditional so if you give some condition like uh, uh, skip if something happens okay if this one test is passed or failed that is also possible to give okay i never used it so i'm not sure exactly how it works so maybe i need to uh, look for i mean search it like how to use this part but it is like the conditional one so there is if statement you have to give okay simple and uh, there is one more marker available for um let's give it like that only and now let's say there is one more marker available uh, what i am what i can say like pytest dot mark uh, dot expel okay so uh, this is another marker and what is this expel? Expel means we are expecting to expecting this test to be failed because maybe there is some issue. Developer has to fix it, and uh, it is not yet fixed. So we are just marking this test as expel. So in the report we will show like this is expecting to be failed. So we will not be audited because if you do not give it, it is it will be failed, right? So it will be like one test failed, but it is already expected because you know this test should be failed but it is not yet fixed so that time you can use it and um, this is xfail and we can give the message as well so let's say a reason uh, bug uh, there is a number let's say 1767 okay this is the bug number that is why it is expelling and now if i execute it let's see what is happening
okay so did you notice one thing i said like this is expected to be failed but actually it is passing so that means developer has did some thing did something and it is now fixed this issue is fixed so that is why it's saying expected is pass x pass okay and uh, if there is any error, error happens let's say this locator got changed or something so developer has to fix it i mean i'm just intentionally giving it a wrong pass a wrong uh, locator just to show you like it it would be now giving x fail so because we know like this 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 test should not be passed so that is why it will it will show like x failed and when it is getting passed then it it will be showing x pass okay and uh, okay let's wait for a few seconds because it will take around 30 seconds time out Okay, now you can see uh, it is showing like this bug number 1767 and because of that it is X failing. So we know this is expected to be failed and we are giving this message. So uh, it will be very helpful whenever we are working on any project and there is multiple developers and testers are working. So we can easily see it from the report like this bug is already expected. So we are someone, someone is working on this obviously. So that is why the bug number is given and yep. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.